Hey, welcome to Deep Universe Updates. Please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for more updates. The news broke like a thunderclap Voyager 1 lives. After months of silence, our farthest messenger had spoken again. Imagine, a machine launched nearly half a century ago, now so distant its signals take over 22 hours to reach us. For five months its signal was gibberish. We feared the end had come. But then, a faint, coherent whisper traveled across 15 billion miles of space. It arrived at Earth's deep space network, not as chaos, but as order, a message of survival. The team at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory who had worked tirelessly to solve this cosmic puzzle, felt a surge of emotion. Our little ship, a testament to human ingenuity, had weathered the storm. It was back. The universe suddenly felt less lonely, more full of possibility. Voyager 1 is more than a probe. It's a symbol of our reach, a physical extension of our senses into the unknown. Its silence was like losing a part of ourselves. Its return, a restoration of vision and hope. The excitement was palpable, not just at NASA but across the globe. People who weren't even born when Voyager 1 left Earth were captivated by its journey. This wasn't just about a machine, it was about the human spirit encoded in its circuits. The renewed signal was a beacon, not just from space but from the depths of our own potential. After 45 years the adventure was far from over, a new chapter was just beginning. The trouble began subtly. In November 2023, Voyager 1's data stream turned to gibberish. The spacecraft was still transmitting but the information was a meaningless loop of ones and zeros. It was like hearing a loved one's voice but not understanding a word. The team at JPL faced a daunting reality. Their patient was 15 billion miles away and they couldn't ask it where it hurt. Voyager 1 isn't just any satellite, it's humanity's only active probe in interstellar space. Losing it would mean losing our only direct line to this unexplored territory. For the engineers and scientists, many of whom had dedicated their careers to Voyager, it was a personal crisis. The silence was a heavy weight in the control room. The problem was traced to a tiny part of the flight data subsystem, a single faulty chip corrupting the memory. Imagine a single typo in a computer's startup code preventing the whole system from loading. But how do you fix a typo from 15 billion miles away on a 1970s computer with less memory than a car key fob? Days turned to weeks, weeks to months. The team tried everything, resets, analyzing garbled data, searching for patterns, nothing worked. The probe remained incoherent. A sense of resignation crept in, perhaps this was it. After a legendary journey, Voyager 1 seemed to have finally succumbed to deep space. Yet, even as they prepared for the worst, the team refused to give up hope. They were fighting for more than a machine, they were fighting for a legacy. With no way to replace the broken hardware, the JPL team had to get creative. They devised a software workaround, like remote brain surgery across the solar system. The idea slice up the essential code and store the pieces in healthy memory locations. First, they identified the corrupted section. Then, they rewrote the software to retrieve and reassemble the scattered code, bypassing the broken chip. This required deep knowledge of Voyager's ancient assembly language and hardware. Every command took nearly a day to reach Voyager and another day for a response. On April 20, 2024 they sent the first part of their Lazarus code. The command told the FDS to store engineering data in a new memory location. Then, they waited. Two tense days. When the signal returned, it was clear and readable for the first time in five months. Cheers erupted in the control room. They had done it. The celebration was a testament to human ingenuity and persistence. These engineers, armed with decades-old manuals and determination, had outsmarted a cosmic-scale problem. They didn't just fix a machine, they extended a dream. Humanity's eyes and ears and interstellar space were open once more. Restoring contact was just the first step. The real prize was reviving the science instruments. Voyager 1 carries tools to study plasma waves, magnetic fields and cosmic rays, our senses in interstellar space. After fixing the engineering data the team sent new commands to reroute the science data. By mid-June all four instruments were back online sending a symphony of information from beyond our solar system. Voyager 1 is in a place no other human-made object has reached, sampling the interstellar medium directly. Every data point is a revelation, telling us about the environment our solar system moves through and the boundary that separates us from the galaxy. This is ground truth from the cosmic frontier. The renewed data stream is already providing stunning new insights. Scientists are analyzing plasma waves and cosmic rays, learning about the galaxy's magnetic field and the violent processes that shape the cosmos. 
This fresh stream of data is a gift, allowing us to test astrophysics models in ways impossible from within the solar system. We're mapping the magnetic weather of our galactic neighborhood. Voyager 1, at 47 years old, is conducting a brand new mission every day. Its survival is a triumph for science and a beacon for future exploration. To appreciate Voyager 1's achievement, we must journey back to its beginning. Launched in 1977, its first major destination was Jupiter. Voyager gave us our first close-up look at the Great Red Spot, a colossal storm wider than three Earths. It revealed Jupiter's turbulent atmosphere and most shockingly, active volcanoes on the moon Io. This proved geological activity wasn't unique to Earth. Voyager also unveiled Europa's icy surface, hinting at a subsurface ocean, and transformed faint points of light into fascinating worlds. The encounter with Jupiter was a cosmic spectacle, inspiring a new generation of scientists. And this was just the beginning. Jupiter's gravity would soon hurl Voyager toward Saturn. After Jupiter, Voyager 1 set its sights on Saturn. Arriving in 1980, it revealed Saturn's rings as a complex system of thousands of ringlets and discovered mysterious spokes and shepherd moons. The highlight was a close flyby of Titan, Saturn's largest moon, with its thick, nitrogen-rich atmosphere. To get this data, Voyager was sent on a trajectory out of the solar system's plane, a point of no return. This final gravitational assist was Voyager's slingshot to infinity, ending its planetary tour. The Saturn encounter delivered groundbreaking science and iconic images. Voyager turned its back on the sun and headed for the darkness. Its ultimate adventure into the unknown was just beginning. For decades after Saturn, Voyager 1 sailed through the outer solar system's edge, the Helio Sheath. Scientists waited for it to cross the ultimate frontier interstellar space. In August 2012 it happened. Voyager detected a dramatic change, solar particles dropped, galactic cosmic rays surged. After 35 years Voyager 1 had left the sun's cradle and entered the interstellar ocean. It became the first human-made object in the galaxy at large. Now it's bathed in radiation from distant stars and ancient supernovas, flying through cold, thin plasma. Its instruments measure the galactic magnetic field, painting a picture of a region we've only guessed at. The challenges are immense, freezing temperatures, intense radiation, staggering distance. Yet powered by its decaying plutonium source, Voyager continues to function and explore. It's a testament to 1970s engineering traveling over 38,000 miles per hour. Voyager is a silent ship on a cosmic ocean, carrying our hopes and dreams. Every piece of data it sends is precious. Bolted to Voyager 1 is a special artifact, the Golden Record. This 12-inch gold-plated copper disc contains sounds and images representing Earth's diversity. Created by a team led by Carl Sagan, it's a greeting card to the cosmos for any intelligent life that might find it. The record includes greetings in 55 languages, sounds of Earth, and 90 minutes of music from around the world. It also holds 115 images, scenes of life, science, and culture. The cover is an instruction manual showing our sun's location and how to play the record. The golden record is a symbol of hope and optimism, a message of who we are. Its true value is what it says about us, our desire to be known and to connect with the cosmos. Voyager 1's journey is our journey, a story of human curiosity. In 1990, at Carl Sagan's request, Voyager turned its camera back for a final picture Earth, a pale blue dot in a sunbeam. That image is Voyager's greatest legacy, a humbling portrait of our place in the universe. It reminds us of our shared responsibility to protect this fragile home. Voyager's comeback shows what we can achieve together, applying intelligence and passion to a common goal. The probe's survival is a victory for long-term thinking and the enduring power of a good idea. As Voyager sails on, it carries the spirit of exploration that defines us. It is a silent ambassador for a curious species on a small blue planet. Its journey tells us that even though we are small, our dreams can be vast. The universe is full of wonders, and as long as we have the courage to explore, our greatest discoveries are yet to come.